In this demonstration, we are going to look at the interface areas for the system. We're going to look at the dashboard, the navigation pane, workspaces, and tiles. So to get started, let's talk about the dashboard. The dashboard, which you can see here, is the first page that users see when they access Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. It contains important information such as the calendar over on the left and the work items assigned to the user right below. In the center of the page, we can see tiles for all of the workspaces in the system. You can return to the dashboard at any time by clicking the Finance and Operations button on the navigation bar at the top of the Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations application frame. Now let's understand how to use the navigation pane. The navigation pane is accessed by clicking the button in the upper left hand corner and the accessing the flyout. It also has a pinning option for the navigation pane if you'd like it to be permanently part of your screen. The navigation pane provides access to several different important areas, including workspaces, modules, recently opened forms, and any user-defined favorites. The recent page, if I expand that, will show me all the pages that I've recently viewed, and workspaces will include all of the workspaces that are currently in the system. These can all be collapsed and expanded. Now let's take a look at workspaces. Workspaces are activity-oriented pages that give users quick access to tasks that they frequently perform. Access to the various workspaces depends on the roles set up for that particular user inside their organization. So to navigate to a workspace, you can typically click a tile on the dashboard or a link in the navigation pane in the workspaces section. I am going to click on one of the tiles on the dashboard. If I click Benefits, the system will open a screen for the Benefit Management workspace. From here, I can perform work related to benefits management. Now let's discuss tiles. Tiles were introduced in Windows 8, and you can see them used all across the system. A tile is a rectangular button that behaves like a menu item button, and it is used to navigate or open pages. On the dashboard, which we can return to if we click Finance and Operations, you can see all of the workspaces that are listed here. Each one of these is a tile. You can also see tiles within the workspaces. So if I click the Customer Payments tile to open the Customer Payments workspace, in the Summary section, you can see that there are a selection of tiles. Some of them have numeric indicators indicating information about the topic. So for instance, Payment Journals Not Posted has a number of four, meaning there are four payment journals that are not posted. If I click on the tile, it will take me to the Payment Journal screen and it will actually show me the view for Not Posted. From here, I can perform work on these payment journals. Next, let's return to the dashboard and talk about the navigation search. In the upper right-hand corner of the application frame, you can see a magnifying glass. This icon is the search feature. If I click on it, I can enter anything into this field and it will show me partial and complete matches across the system for pages and items on the dashboard. So for instance, if I type in all customers, it will automatically populate all of the all customers pages listed here. It will also include partial matches for things like all activities and all campaigns. It will also include the menu path that will let me manually access the particular form that it's representing. So for instance, we have an all customers page in sales and marketing and an all customers page in accounts receivable as well as in retail and credit collections. I can select any of these and navigate directly to the page that I would like to see.